and welcome to the next episode of the Klingberg Wing Mark II Development. I'm Raul Klingberg, your host. Um, I thought, I'm getting ready to do what I think is going to be a very interesting test here, and I want to tell you a little bit about it before I go out there, so it can be, the results will be a surprise for all of us. Um, as you, if you've been following with, you know that I'm having some challenges with my control system and uh, keeping the flow attached to the elevons. So what I've done here is I, I took the uh, old uh, structural test section of the wing. This is essentially the center section of the wing, and this is where the flap would be. And wasn't using this section of the wing anymore, so I thought it was good for this test. And I built a very simple flat control surface here to finish off the wing. I made it out of foam core board, uh, so I can just look at the flow conditions. If you're uh, up on your aerodynamics on aircraft in general, you've probably heard of slotted flaps. And I'll put up a picture here somewhere. Uh, a couple pictures. I'll put up a picture of a, a diagram of how they work and um, I'll put up a picture of like a 747 that has a whole bunch of slotted flaps on it. Um, what they do is they uh, take air from the lower surface of the wing, which is what we're looking at here, the lower surface, and they take the flap and they move it aft and essentially down. We're, we're upside down here, so I'm going up with my hand. This is where the flap would go. And this makes a gap, uh, as you see in the diagram that I've put up. There's a gap where the air can flow through. So you're taking high energy air from the lower half of the wing, the bottom of the wing, and moving it to the upper surface, and you're blowing air across the flap. So these are sometimes called blown flaps. Uh, there's other ways to do blown flaps, but the more common name for them is slotted flaps. Um, and uh, that increases the effectiveness of that flap and it uh, increases the amount of lift that that wing can generate. Now I'm concerned about elevons. And elevons are a form of a flap uh, except they don't move aft. In order to do those slotted flaps they have a fairly fancy hinging mechanism uh, to where they can go aft and deflect at the same time. And there's usually a fairly sizable metal track uh, that the that it runs on and there's some roller bearings and so forth to make it all work. Well that's just overkill for a hang glider and I thought how, how can I uh, get that effect but with a very simple hinge system. So here's what I've come up with. So here's the flap and this could be a flap or an elevon, doesn't matter. And I have a very simple single line hinge right here. It just goes up and down like this. And um, on a elevon, the hinge line would be on the center so you could go both up and down with flat. But we only need to go in one direction for this test to see if it works. So what we have here, what I've done here is I've cut a slot just aft of the hinge line. Here, The hinge line is here and about an inch, inch and a quarter, aft, maybe inch and a half. I cut a slot in here. And I'll put up another picture here, shows you the inside of this flap. And you'll see that I've put in, and we're looking at this right side up, so the bottom is the bottom of the flap, this side, and the top of the picture is the top of the flap on the other side. And you'll see that the this opening, this uh, slot that I've cut in here, goes into a channel. I've used some foam core board to create a channel along the whole length of this slot. And that's to direct the air up to the upper surface. Now, you, you can't let air in and expect it to go 90 degrees straight up, turn 90 degrees and go straight back. So this is slanted back slightly, um, as, as much as I felt I needed to do in order to uh, get the air to where I want it to be. Now, so instead of moving the whole thing aft and creating an opening here to let the air go through, as soon as I deflect this up, this lip here, which is a fairly sharp edge, will scupper up. I guess that's the right word, scupper? Is that a word? <laughs> it'll scrape the flow off of the surface here, and it'll go in this slot like this, and out the top. Um, and that'll take this higher energy flow, put it on the top of the control surface, and it should help energize the flow that's there and keep it attached, maybe. Um, and I'm going to flip you around here and I'm going to turn the wing over while, while you're spinning around waiting for the next view. I'm going to flip the wing over. Okay, I uh, did that really fast. 
uh, I got everything turned around while you guys were spinning around. So here we see the top of the wing, and I got some tufts on here so I can study the flow. And what I've done is I've put a cover over the opening for the uh, slot that goes through the control surface so that as the air goes up through that plenum, it has to turn because of this cover here and go back along the control surface. At least that's what I hope it does. We've seen on my wing that on the flap itself, as we deflect the flap about this far, these tufts will come back to about here and turn 90 degrees and go out along the span. And what we're hoping to see is that these continue to go straight and that these guys are nice and straight. On, on, my, on my wing, these guys would just be point. If you deflect it down here, they just all go straight out to the wing tip. And we want to keep the flow attached and going aft. So hopefully, every time this gets deflected down, it sucks up some air off the lower surface, shoots it up through the plenum and out the top, and this is about a 3 sixteenths of an inch gap here uh, to let the air out. And hopefully by turning this corner here uh, with this cover, that'll help keep the air attached to the control surface. Now, one thing that I could run into is that this guy ends up turning out to be just like a big trip strip. We've tried a bunch of trip strips on the wing to no avail. Some have helped a little bit, but nothing significant. So I don't think it's going to work in this particular case either. But just in case, I made a, uh, a duplicate of this cover, essentially, like this, that I can put over here. But I can put this on here, and if the flow is well behaved then, then we know that this is kind of acting like a trip strip, uh, as opposed to uh, the, uh, the flow from the lower surface uh, helping the flow here on the upper surface. So it's a way to differentiate uh, cause and effect. Um, so I'm going to go out and uh, end of this week, I hope, this coming Saturday, and test this. Uh, and everybody cross their fingers and hope we get good results. I, I think it could be an interesting thing to try on the Elevons, maybe. Uh, we'll have to think if it comes out good. We'll have to think about that one. So, but uh, wish me luck. And uh, for those of you who are on YouTube or your free members of my Patreon site, uh, that video will be posted for Patreon members. Uh, so make sure you get your full membership, and uh, you get to see the test results. Hope to see you there. And in the meantime, fly safe. Bye for now.